Well, Kenya, this season, your wise Aunt Lori encouraged you to forgive and forget. And while it wasn't always smooth sailing, you proved that no matter what happens, life twirls on. <laughs> Take a look. You seem like a lot's going on. I'm feeling a mess right now. After the attack, I was in the middle of open season and I had a target on my back. I apologize if I've ever offended you. I should not have told my wife that you offered me fellatio. Apollo, have I ever seen you in L.A.? You've never seen me in L.A.? I don't believe Apollo, because I just think he's trying to be mean to pay. So we yeah. lied about lying. Yeah. Like she paid Walter trying to rent the African man, she'll pay Apollo to try to clean her character up, so I don't believe it. You should be able to forgive all of them. If they make the first step, showing me they want my forgiveness. No, 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 no. Yes! No, you cannot uh, put conditions on forgiveness. We said things to each other that I regret. You really did? Yeah. OK, I regret Yeah, because you tear a portion. In you order for me stop. to move on with my life, I got to forgive, and I have. You Sorry, was I asking for forgiveness? Will an apology ever come out of Portia's mouth? No. Action! <laughs> pick up the pace, okay? okay? From the top. I am the executive producer, writer, director, and a star. She done twirl down the step. <laughs> you only have one life, and when it gets difficult, you just have to say to yourself, life twirls on. So what is the status of life twirls on? We actually have some negotiations going on, so I'm really excited about it's it. It's a half-hour comedy? It's a half-hour comedy. I want it to be a series, and so that's what we're, we're discussing you right now. You self-financed a half-hour comedy? Yeah. That seems like a bad business move. No. No? <laughs> it does. What if you don't sell it, then you're just down the money? No, you will always sell it. There are always buyers. There's always a market for whatever you produce, as long as you produce it well. Okay. Cynthia, seeing you prepare for Kenya's pilot was hilarious. You did pretty good with that Jamaican accent. Yeah, I mean, it, it kind of ended up being a little Jamaican Chinese in the end, but you know, she, didn't, she, didn't, she didn't say what kind of Jamaican. She just said Jamaican, so Jamaican Chinese. I had fun with it. Watching the show and seeing Cynthia's acting, what did you think of her acting? It was okay. Okay, that's nice. La Quinta from Texas said, Kenya, can you grow up? Why must someone apologize to you before you apologize to them? What does your heart tell you to do? Well, you know, that's what my aunt helped me to realize is that forgiveness is really about yourself. It's not about the other person. I love Aunt Lori. She's amazing. She's great. Yeah. She has been like a mother figure to me. And I think that that came because she is my mother's sister. Is your mom still alive? Yeah. She is. Mm -hmm. Do you speak to her? The last time I saw her was at my grandfather's funeral, and that actually is the first time she did speak to me. She said, hello, Kenya. And I was floored because she's never spoken to me before. Phaedra, do you have any response to that? I think it's very interesting that she talked about Bloody Sunday because it was the 50th anniversary. I had the pleasure to be there and invited and to walk that bridge this year. Everything that we do on this platform, it transcends race, color. A lot of us aren't using it how we should. I don't think it's fair for Kenya to use that isolated incident because I don't see you using your platform responsibly. I don't see you, you know, you being the either. ideal black woman. I don't see you supporting anything. Really? And you are? You oh, hang, hang out money. on the beach with your butt yeah. out. You went yeah. to a charity event with your yeah. butt you out. You went to a charity event with, with your butt out. You went to a charity event with your butt yeah. out. You say you want to be a Christian and you don't want to forgive people. Don't you tell me that you're about exemplary. But read the Bible because in you're not entirety. being that yourself. No, you Let's read the Bible in its entirety because there's plenty of whores in the Bible. Don't look so at me. So you ain't good company, baby. Listen, let me no. tell you something. If I if I was Magdalene, if I was going, there's plenty of whores in the Bible and they were redeemed. Do you think that you are a, a greater example for black women than Portia? I think so, because one thing that my grandmother has taught me, you have to forgive other people for yourself. If I made a mistake, I'm going to own my mistake, and I'm going to hope that we can all move forward. That's the only thing you can do. Terry from 
Atlanta said, Phaedra, why can't you seem to forgive Kenya and apologize for calling her a whore when your husband lied? Doesn't seem very gracious from a self-professed Southern belle. First of all, I didn't call her a whore just because of that one incident. I called her a whore because of the behavior she displayed. If you got whorish ways, then you might be a whore. We were in Anguilla. You offered to have a baby with some married prime minister who said oh, we could have a pretty baby. Here we go with this silly you, stuff again. Let me explain I mean, something to you. If I was going to be a whore, Phaedra, I would be the best goddamn whore you ever seen in your damn life, okay? You I do. wouldn't have one Bentley. I'd have a fleet of Bentley. And trust me, there would be a museum that people would come to and say, you know what, that was the best goddamn whore <laughs> I ever seen in my life. That bitch did that. She did that. They would have my damn star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame for being the best damn whore to ever live. So don't get it twisted, because if that was what I wanted to claim and what I was, I would own it, unlike you.